Lift up your voice right now and say, Lord, touch me in this service. Give me an encounter with your word that will spark off a new miracle. An encounter with your word. An encounter with your word. An encounter with your word. Your word for my desire breakthrough. For my desire turn around. Your word for my desire breakthrough. For my desire turn around. Your word for my desired breakthrough. Your word for my desired breakthrough. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Today, a miracle will break out for you. That amen is too weak. I say again, a miracle will break out for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. Put those hands together for the Lord and please take your seat. Engaging the power of the word in operating the supernatural. Engaging the power of the word. God's word is God's power. God has no power outside of his word. So the power of God resides in his word. In the word of a king, there is what? Power. God can do nothing for me. He can do nothing for you outside of his word. Whatever you are expecting God to do for you or bring to pass in your life, his word is your solution. That is why he says, so shall my word be. My word is a seal. My word is a decree. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. It shall accomplish and prosper. Which I please. Wheresoever, another translation says, Wheresoever I send it. Wheresoever, whatever. So, wherever the word goes, God goes. God demonstrated his power by his word from creation. Hebrew 4 12. Hebrew chapter 4 verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. It's quick, it's powerful. It's quick, it's powerful. It can penetrate any region. It can penetrate any material. He can assess any office. He can tear down any wall. Even the dividing asunder of the soul 
and spirit and of the joint and marrow and is a discerner of the thought and intent of the heart. Whatever is in the heart of man, he can search it out. Doesn't only search it out, he can judge it. So nothing happens until God says it. God said, let there be light. And there was light. I want you to know, let there be is a continuous declaration. Let there be started with God. It didn't end with God. That is why in Genesis chapter 1, after he made man, scripture says, and he blessed them, and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Which means, whatever I've given to you is not permitted to finish in your hand, with the word, you can keep producing. You can keep creating. Replenish. It's just like the water in your bucket. Before it's exhausted, replenish. You add more. So with the word, you can establish. You can create. You can redesign. You can shape. Being mindful of the word is what guarantees you a place, a dominion territory, a place of oppression in the realm of the supernatural. When you understand the power of the word, you will know what it means to say, I can't be poor. I can't be sick. I cannot fail. Why? Whatever you say, the forces of the spirit goes to back it up. To establish it. I want you to know you don't have a borrowed mouth. You have a legal mouth to establish your supernaturality. Jesus said, I give you a mouth and a wisdom which your adversary will not be able to resist nor gainsay. So you are free to say what you like. But please, don't say what will kill you. There is freedom of speech. But don't let your speech put you in the pit. There is freedom of speech. Don't let your speech put you in the pit. Proverbs 18 and verse 21 And life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Death and life, they are where? Do like this. So when you see someone talking rubbish, he's buying death. When you see someone speaking evil, he's buying death. Because whatever you call must answer to you. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it. And you, you discover what people love is what they like saying. What you like, that's what you like saying. You can't be saying it if you don't love it. You are saying it because you love it. You are interested in it. So you keep saying it, keep saying it, keep saying it. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3, we understand by faith that the walls were framed by the word of God. So your mouth makes you your designer. Your mouth makes you the designer of your life. The designer of your destiny. The designer of your career. Your mouth. Your mouth makes you the designer of your family. 
Nothing go wrong in your life until your words declare it. By faith, we understand that the walls we are framed by the word of God. To frame means to shape. To frame means to design. To frame means to give an outlook. How you want something to appear. I'd like you to hear this. In the realm of the supernatural, we are in a war of words. Say with me, war of words. Isaiah 54 verse 17. No weapon. Your enemy's weapons are words. For no fashion against you shall prosper. And any tongue, say with me, any tongue. It could be a pastor's tongue, a deacon or a deaconess tongue, an elder tongue, a member tongue. No weapon form nor fashion against me shall prosper. Any tongue that rise against me in judgment is a I. Say with me, I. I shall condemn. And he said, this is my heritage. It is your legal heritage condemned. Don't wait. And their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Arrow of words are flying by day. Release your own. You don't watch your enemy's word come to pass. Send them to silence. I give you a mouth and a wisdom which your adversary will not be able to resist nor gainsay. If you keep quiet, you will be silenced. I'm not looking for anybody else. It's trouble, though. My God will fight for me. They're there, they wait. You trouble me, I will trouble you. You fight me, I fight you. God has nothing to confirm for you if you are not releasing anything. My God will fight for me. My God, they will send you to hell. In fact, you will expire quick. My God will fight for me. I'm not looking for anybody's trouble. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking for trouble. Give me, let me give you back. Some people's silence is the reason for where they are now. Let's see it if it's in the Bible. Psalm 81, let's read it from verse 10. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide. Not gossip. -o. Because that's what the wide mouths are in full in church, not right words. They are gossip mouths. Open thy mouth wide, and I will do what? Fill it. But my people will not hearken to my voice, and Israel will none of me. The next verse now. So I gave them up to their own hearts, lost, and I, they walked in their own cancer. Look at the next verse. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. Look at the next verse now. I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against who? My God will fight for me. God said, Nalayo, if you don't talk, I have nothing to confirm. If you don't speak, God has nothing to confirm. If they had opened their mouth, I would have soon subdued their adversaries. 
That's why I say no weapon form, no fashion against you shall prosper. And any tongue that rises against you say, thou shalt condemn. We are in a war of words. Hear me? The supernatural is made real by those who speak. If you don't speak, you cannot win. If you don't speak, you will not marry. The only thing what they see for this church now, just disappointment. When one brother and one come, they go just, all these dickens are dickens. They just go and tell the brother that he should not marry me. Tell your neighbor, speak for yourself. Describe what you see, declare what you want. Stop describing what is happening. Declare what is written. You are not an entertainer looking for who to pity you. Stop describing your situation. Declare your intention. Declare what you want to see God do. Stop declaring. Describe it. Declare your expectation. Declare your expectation. You may not look like it, but the word is bringing it to pass. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Your word power is your chance in the supernatural. Your word power is your chance in the supernatural. If you don't have the right word, you don't have the right chance in this life. It is the word you declare that gives you a chance in this life. Job 6 verse 25, how forcible right words. I want to surprise you. There is no dry life. We only have dry mouth and dry heart. Why? Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. It is what you are full of that you keep declaring. In computer, they call it garbage in, garbage out. So many people's memory, which they call giga, is full of rubbish. So they bring out rubbish. What you garbaging is what you garbage out. So in their memory gig now, their memory gig may look like 134 or 126. Check the contents of the gigabytes. It is full of virus. I'm telling you the truth. If your gigabyte is full of virus, you always be vomiting what? Virus. Scripture says, guard your heart with all diligence. Guard your heart what? Now, do you know what it means to protect your computer? One virus is enough to corrupt all the files. Am I saying the truth? And you now be struggling how you recover all the documents. Who has had his um, hard drive corrupt by virus before? You have. Did you succeed in recovering the documents? Oh, sorry. 
I remember what happened to me in 20, is it 2011 or 2010? My 250 memory hard drive was corrupted. So I just called one of I said, look, if these documents are not recovered, it then means that I will start afresh to look for them. And I've been gathering these things for the past 10 years. So the young man just told me that there is one, uh, this thing that he needs to connect and immediately log into it. It will wipe out all the virus and recover my... I said, do it now, let me see. He said, I should pay first. I had to pay him 10000 for him to start. As he did, I started seeing my files coming out. Now, likewise, your brain, your heart, is like your gig, gigabyte. When one virus enters, it corrupts the whole file. And when the whole file is corrupted, you begin to behave like the corrupted file. You talk rubbish. Your gossip is a product of the corrupted file. You are not uttering right words again. Am I saying something to somebody? By so doing now, you are losing touch in the realm of the supernatural. Why? Because the things you are saying, they are not recognized in the supernatural. So the supernatural cannot answer to you, neither will it obey you. You are now a stranger to your own habitat. You know what it means for a fish to struggle in water? That means he has lost touch with the supernatural. So when right words are at work, you don't only assume right authority, you experience the right manifestation. Right words gives you access to the right manifestation. You are not assuming the words, you believe the words, so you are declaring them, so you will experience them. There is no dry life. There is no dry family. There is no dry destiny. There is no dry business. There are only dry mouth and dry heart. Dry family, dry business. Why? Dry mouth and dry heart. Hebrew chapter 1 and verse 3, he controlled all things. By what? Let's see it. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding, controlling, sustaining all things by the word of his what? Power. So everything in your life is controlled by the things you say. If things are not working, your mouth is making them not to work. If things are scattered, your mouth is the thing scattering it. If things will work well, your mouth is the thing making it to work well. So you make things to keep producing, keep flourishing, keep increasing by the word. Papa asked us to declare, not that uh, it's just to look for a slogan. July 8, 18 is a reality. July 8, 2018 is a reality. Whether you say amen or you say man, it's already a reality. July 8, 2018 is a reality. The multitude must gather. I said the multitude must gather. I said the multitude must gather. God bless you, my beginning. Since there no one hear me, may you hear me. So let everything about your life, about your expectation, 
be running on the frequency of the word. Everything about your life, about your family, about your career. Do you know that shop that you are saying that uh, people are not coming to buy? Now your mouth, they key the place. When your expectation is running on the frequency of the word, I bet you there is nothing you are looking for that will not answer. Nothing operates by the word can be run out by any devil. Anything running on the power of the word can never be run out by any devil. Heaven and earth may pass away, but the least stroke of my word shall not fall to the ground. What keeps an engine running it's just for you to put more fuel. And as long as you keep putting more fuel, the engine will keep running. Where your fuel finish, that's where the engine will stop running. So your word is your fuel for life. You keep fuel in your life by the power of the word. I bet you no one can stop the word from working for you. Jesus said, this word that I speak, they are spirit. And they are what? Life. So by the word, you take command, you take charge. As far as the word is not lacking in your mouth, you never lose charge. You never lose control. You never lose dominion. As long as you keep speaking the word, you keep putting the enemy where he needs to be. Jesus took charge to command by the word. He cast out devils by the word. No wonder scripture said they were amazed at his word. Everything on earth, he has the word. Everything. Say with me, everything. Everything hears the word. Everything hears the word. Everything responds to the word. No wonder. Scripture say, as soon as they hear of me, Psalm 18 and verse 44. Psalm 18 and verse 44. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Say with me, they shall obey me. The stranger shall submit themselves unto me. Verse 45. The stranger shall fade away and be afraid out of their closed places. They shall fade away. The enemy will fade away for you. So both in the spiritual and in the natural, everything hears the word. Jesus said the hour is come when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of Man and they that hear it shall live. So you can speak to any part of your life. You can speak to any part of your family. You can speak to any part of your career. You can speak to any part of your business. The way you want it, say it. The way you want to do what? But I want you to know this. The more you feed on God's word, the more you grow your capacity to deliver. If you don't feed on the word, you reduce your chance of taking delivery. Growing in the word is increasing your God nature. 
Feeding on the word is building up your God nature. Every one of us, we are at a certain level of spiritual authority now in the realm of the supernatural. Why? Because of our feeding rates. In the natural, there are people that eat six, seven times per day. In this church, they are even here. You are laughing. Six, seven times. In fact, it's like they should put food in their mouth even before they sleep. Someone said, if I stay and my mouth is not busy, it's like hey, I'm, not, uh, I'm not myself. <laughs> if I stay and my mouth is not busy, you say I'm not myself. Meaning, I should be eating every time. Tell your neighbor, eat every time. <laughs> hey, booze. <laughs> if you want to grow your supernatural status keep feeding on the word there is no overdose of the word there is no overdose you don't become a spiritual gluten by feeding on the word your kidney your liver does not have problem when you are feeding on the word why? You are beefing up your spirit man. You are increasing your God status. Paul said, when I was a child, I thought like a child. He said, but when I became a man, I gave up childish thinking. Concerning Jesus, scripture said, and the child grew and was strong in spirit and the grace of God was upon him. So every time we are feeding on the word, we are waxing strong. Building up stronger muscles. Building up more capacity. Because your strength will determine your delivery. You can't take what you don't have the strength to take. That's why we need to feed on the word. If you are not truly feeding on the word, it will also affect your prayer life. So when you see yourself struggling in prayer, it's a sign that you are word deficient. You are suffering from what we call spiritual kwashoko. You are spiritually malnourished. I might say something to someone now. So you need to keep feeding on the word. As you feed on the word, you grow in light. Say with me, light. You grow in understanding. You grow in insight. You grow in revelation. And the essence of revelation is to increase your profiting in the realm of the spirit. Why? Because you can see what others can see. Thereby take what others can take. When you see what others can see, you will dare what others can dare. When you see what others can see, you will say what others can say. You are saying it because you are seeing it. So you can't effectively operate in the supernatural without intake of the word. The intake of the word has a resultant effect which is light. Say with me, light. No wonder even in schooling they give you assignment according to your level of understanding. Am I saying the truth? They give you assignment according to your level of understanding. Let's take for example now. A primary one in the village. 
Chebina primary one cannot do the same thing that a primary one in KHMS is doing. Am I saying the truth? Am I correct? There are some people in primary two that cannot spell their name correct in the village. Am I correct? In Lafia. <laughs> Even in what? Even in secondary school. So when you see parents spending more on extra lesson for their children to be taught, it is not a sign that they have plenty money. They want him to grow faster so that he can understand faster. Now, how many children now, even in this church, can you give a phone and they can download things from YouTube? Talk. Even adults, where they hear self. <laughs> I'm saying the truth. Because exposure determines oppression. But give it to this small boy and I will download something for you. He can go and search out some assignments. When my mommy is doing as if she's tired, he will collect mommy's phone and go and be searching there. His assignment in, in the in Google assignment. How many children now can you give phone or you go and do your assignment? Mommy, what is this? <laughs> That is how it is with us in the realm of the supernatural. What you don't understand, you can't operate. You are a stranger to your habitat. You are a stranger to your domain. So growing in understanding is not optional. It's a must. Say with me, it's a must. It's a must if you must operate in the realm of the supernatural. If you must command signs and wonders, growing in understanding is not a choice. It's a must. A must. You must must yourself to grow in it. If you don't grow in it, it will never answer to you. If you don't grow in it, you lack the heart to die it. Faith is heart. Because whatever you know instills boldness. Whatever you know gives you confidence. Whatever you know gives you courage. But if you don't know it, you are fearful. I don't know the one I go talk now where it will cause trouble. Do you know that some people are even afraid of calling their blessing? Are you sure God will answer it? Oh, the one I don't talk before, I never see anyone. So you are even afraid to declare the things he wants you to declare. If you see any person speaking anyhow, declaring unfruitful words, just know that that person is off life. Say with me, off life. In computer, there is what they call offline. Is what? Offline. Offline. It's not in line. So anytime you begin to declare unfruitful words, unprofitable words, words that have no backup in the sight of God, you are offline. So if you want to be in command as God desires you, you must always declare the right words. The omniscience God never depended on science. It was his word that created science. Am I saying the truth? He said, let there be light and there was light. He didn't go to any laboratory. His word is the laboratory. 
is your word is your creative platform you can use your word to design where you will be to push yourself to where you need to reach your word Jesus said unto Peter, Peter, let down your net for a catch. Jesus was not bothered whether it was fishing hour or non-fishing hour. Let down your net for a catch. Peter said, Master, we have toiled all night and day and we have caught nothing. But nevertheless, at thy word. When he said, let down your net for a catch, did he mention fish? But the net is meant to catch something. Am I correct? Immediately he said, let down your net for a catch. All the fishes within that area had, then they call us. Then they call us. You better go. Then they call us. Then they call us. So everyone, on speed, via, 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 via. And they enter the net. Without checking whether there was earthworm or not. They enter the net, then they call us. Your word called things. He called those things that be not as though they are. For the first time, Peter said, <laughs> I'm a sinful man, go away from me. The net began to break. And I, have, I know the material that they use in doing that net. The material tight. It tight. It's ever strong. That is what is breaking. That will let you know that the quantity of fish that the thing catch. So whatever you are saying is catching somebody. Whatever you are saying is opening a particular door. You are afraid of your word producing. But a native doctor is not afraid that his enchantment will work. If a native doctor is sure of his backup, you must be more sure of your own backup. That's why I'm not afraid. If I say die, now die, you go die. If I say bless, now bless, you go bless. I'm not born of a Tokumbo spirit or a Taiwan spirit. I am born of the spirit of God. So when you are born of the spirit, you reproduce after your kind. Lion give birth to lion. Monkey to monkey. Snake to snake. Chimpanzee to chimpanzee. Who do you look like? I'm not sure. Are you sure you look like a god? So stop talking like someone that they brought from the village. You are a god. Say, I am a God. God talks with authority. They declare with confidence. They don't say things that will fall back. He said, thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. Your word can turn any barren person to a fruitful vine. It is the word of God that empowers us for productivity, for success, for profiting, for fruitfulness. The word of God. The moment you start believing it, it starts working. As the word comes and you receive it, it begins to crush every barrier. It's not my word like hammer 
and like fire that break it. The rocks into pieces. No matter how hard the rocks are, no matter how hard the oppositions look, keep shooting the word. Keep declaring the word. The more you declare the word, the more God appears for you. Nothing makes God to appear for you like when you are speaking the word. Nothing makes God to appear for you like when you are speaking the word. So you keep declaring the word. If you are not speaking the word, you are not a God. You are a human being. Say with me, human beings. If you are not declaring the word, you are a human being. Jesus said, if he called them God, unto whom the word of the Lord came, how come you are angry that I am saying to you that ye are God? I remember those days in one of the tapes that I listened to, a man just newly gave his life to Christ. He was in the Oboni court. So, his colleagues knew that this man has left because he stopped attending their meeting. So they confronted him one day and told him, we heard now that you say you are born again. If you don't return, in seven days, you are dead. But because of the word that have entered this man, he looked at all of them in the face and said, in three days, the God of Oyedepo will kill you. In three days, all of them were dead. He was not a pastor. He just newly got born again. We give you seven days. If you don't return, you are dead. He replied, in three days, the God of Oyedepo will kill all of you. And he went back. And three days spawn came. The God of Oyedepo cleared all of them. If your enemy speak and you don't reply, now you kill yourself. They gave him seven days, he gave them three days. Which one is faster? <laughs> if he had said nothing, that man would have been dead. Am I saying the truth? So you need your war to break. To take. So when men are saying there is a casting down. Thou shalt say there is a lifting up. When men are saying there is no way out. You will be declaring my God is making a way for me. When men are saying things are dry. My God shall supply all my needs. According to his riches. In glory by Christ Jesus. Say not a confederacy. What they call a confederacy. Neither fear ye their fear. Don't fear. When you have the right mouth. You will enjoy the right life. Right mouth for right life. Right mouth. Right life. You won't fail again. Rise up to your feet. What is that thing that is making you afraid? Name it now. What is that thing that is making anytime you think about it, you are scared. You are afraid. You say, Oh Lord. Please, I don't want this thing to happen. Your mouth is your defense. Your mouth is your bailout. He said, thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. The centurion said unto Jesus, I'm a man under authority. I say to one, go and he goes. And to another, come and he comes. 
He says, speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. And Jesus said, I have not seen one with such a great faith in Israel. He said, go, thy servant is made whole. Thy servant is made whole. And scripture recorded in that self same hour, the servant was made whole. Lift up your voice right now. Declare what you want to see. Anything you want for your family, for your job, for your career, for your business, declare what you want to see. Declare what you want to see. Declare what you want to see. Do you desire a wonder? Call it. Do you desire a miracle? Call it. Do you desire an open door? Call it. Laronde, Jekosi Kataya. Leendo Preketosi Zale. Jekosia Prekleketosa. Lord, the creative wisdom. The creative wisdom. The right word, the right inspiration, the right idea to handle, to manage, to handle. Leketo preketeri galo shabana, intata liadosha kesoze keko lepe ilapoto neberiado shata. Lord, the right wisdom, the right idea. To handle this tax, to handle this information, Lord, the right wisdom. Bekenero Shapalato, Zinene Eno Peredo Shikataya, Liante Kalia Paloja, Zeko Lebro Shando Reto, Lizotene Kupeliata. De kala pekelero shikozeze ni aleta. Lambro shekonenkre. Zinodori shata. I speak with the authority of the word. July 8th, 2018. This church will double. This church will break forth with every dimension of increase before these 52 days of o will be over. Unspeakable signs, unspeakable miracles, unspeakable healings, unspeakable breakthrough, unspeakable open doors. Zeizo nebredish esota lapone beleto la meledosha enzika tole pe bebre rushaga ilandio seko nengle dishata reze sekle keto liaba nothing says no to your word elapola to sezia whatever represents a manipulation and opposition of the wicked I command them crush I command them crush I command them crush whatever look like a satanic gang up and network I prophesy by fire and by the hammer of your word let them be broken in pieces let them be broken in pieces let them be dashed to powder Russia and Tayatone Liboro Shikoteria Marcelo Shekonesesia Ileto paria de sote, glarun shananto paria. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. That amen is too weak. Beginning from today, nothing will resist you. Say amen with confidence. Every door connected to your expectation, no one of them shall be shot against you. Whoever is connected to what you are looking for, I decree within the next 48 hours, no one of them will rest until that blessing is surrendered. Any evil decision, 
taken to limit you, to frustrate you. Scatter in the name of Jesus. I decree with prophetic fire and authority. Your blessing appointed for the now. I command them release in the name of Jesus. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whatever looks mysterious that is after you to undo you. I decree by the fire of God, I command vengeance on the personality. Say amen if you are a believer. I command vengeance upon the personality. Before Sunday, the principal enemy against you and against your family will fall down and die. I decree with authority you will fall down and die. I decree with authority we fall down and die. Whoever is involved in the gang of how you will go down to the pits. If I be sent by Oyedeko to LFC Lafia, let them be laid to rest. Let them be broken in pieces. Let the angels of God pursue them. Let their paths be slippery. Into sudden destruction, let them fall. Say amen like a believer. Any man or woman here that has been tied by witchcraft, whoever submitted your name for you to be tied, I withdraw your name, I replace their name. I withdraw your name, I replace their name. I withdraw your name, I replace their name. I withdraw your name and replace their name. Wherever they are positioned, your head to be destroyed. I remove your head, I put their head. I remove your head, I put their head. You will not see shame. You will not know evil. This month of June, you will end up with amazing testimonies. Whatever look like a moving object in anyone's body or a mark of rejection, mark of failure, mark of disappointment, as you partake of this communion, that evil mark be deleted forever. That evil mark is wiped away forever. Say amen like a believer. So they mark the end of the torment of your enemies. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Anyone that have vowed not to let you rest, I decree, let the vengeance of the Lord answer against them. Amen. So amen like a believer. Amen. It is done. Amen. As you partake of this communion, refreshing for you. Amen. New waves of favor for you. Amen. New dimension of help for you. Amen. New doors are opening for you. Amen. Before Sunday, you will get that money. I'm speaking to someone before Sunday you will get that money. Before Sunday you will get that money. You are not saying amen like a believer. So shall it be. Jesus, confirm your word. In Jesus' name.